Hello guys, in this video I will show how to find the derivative of a function using the power rule combined with the chain rule. So our objective here is to find the derivative of a function of the form u raised to n, where u is another function, let's call it g of x, raised to a power n. So n here uh, is any real number. Now, the derivative of u raised to n is equal to n u raised to n minus 1 times the derivative of u with respect to x. Example, let's say if we have f of x equals to x plus 1 raised to 10, so its derivative, f prime of x, is equal to uh, bring down 10 as a coefficient, so that's 10 times copy the base to x plus 1 raised to n minus 1, so that's 10 minus 1, which is equal to 9, and then multiply it by the derivative of the base. So the derivative of 2x is 2, and the derivative of 1 is 0. So we have times 2. Let's simplify. So that's 20 times 2x plus 1 raised to 9. So this is the final answer. For example number 2, we have f of x equals x raised to 5 plus 2 cubed. So its derivative is equal to, again, bring down the uh, exponent as a coefficient. So that's 3 times copy the base, x raised to 5 plus 2. And then minus 1. So we have minus 1 in the exponent, so that's 2. And then, multiply it by the derivative of the base. The derivative of x raised to 5 using the power rule is 5x raised to 4. And the derivative of 2, constant, is 0. So the final answer is, let's multiply 3 and 5. So we have 15. Then copy x raised to 4. Then multiply it by x raised to 5 plus 2 squared. So this is the final answer. Example number 3, f of x equals square root of x squared plus 1. Now our first task here is to write this radical in its equivalent exponential form. So we need to follow this form u raised to n. And to do that, I will apply the rule for writing radical to its equivalent rational exponential form. So that is x raised to m over n is equal to nth root of x raised to n. So since we have uh, a radical and we need to write it in its equivalent exponential form, so we will do this direction from radical to exponential form. So, this is equal to, the function is equal to x squared plus 1 raised to 1 because the exponent of this binomial is 1 and then the index is 2, so we have 1 half. So, that's x squared plus 1 raised to 1 half. Now, next is to apply the uh, formula for the derivative. So, f prime of x is equal to bring down 1 half as a coefficient, copy the base, and subtract 1 from the exponent. Now, 1 half minus 1 is equal to negative 1 half. So, negative 1 half times the derivative of the base, so which is d over dx here. So, that's 2x. Simplify. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Okay. And then we have 1 times x is equal to x. So the numerator is x. Since we have a negative exponent here, to make it positive, we will write it in the denominator. So that's x squared plus 1 raised to 1 half. Last step is to write uh, the denominator in its equivalent radical form. 
So we have x over square root of x squared plus 1. Once again, I use this rule in writing this exponential form to its equivalent radical form. So this is our final answer. f prime of x is equal to x over square root of x squared plus 1. Item number 4, f of x equals 1 over 5x squared plus 7 raised to 10. So, uh, take note that we cannot, we cannot use the formula directly in the denominator because uh, the function is not written in the form u raised to n. So, we need first to write it in the form u raised to n, which means we, uh, we will apply, once again, the rule for negative exponents. So that is x raised to negative n is equal to 1 over x raised to n. So we have this form. So we need to write it with a negative exponent. So that's uh, 5x squared plus 7 raised to negative 10. So now uh, we already have the form u raised to n. So let's apply the formula f prime of x is equal to bring down negative 10 as uh, a coefficient, copy the base, so that's nu, then minus 1 from the exponent, so that's negative 10, minus 1 is negative 11, and multiply it by the derivative of the base. The derivative of 5x squared is 10x. Then simplify. So this is equal to negative 10 times 10 is negative 100. And then we have x. And then once again, we will apply this rule to make the exponent positive. So let's write it in the denominator. 5x squared plus 7 raised to 11. So this is our final answer. You may try finding the derivative of these functions, f of x equals 10x plus 3 raised to 8, and f of x equals square root of 5x plus 9, and share it in the comment section.